The Son of Gothic's challenge only has one rule. You're only allowed to level up your lowest level skill. Once the skill's leveled up, it's locked until every other skill matches that level. This means that every resource is finite and you really have to plan ahead. This video is showcasing the plugin that I've made that enforces the rules to this challenge by physically blocking any action that would gain XP in a certain skill. Let's start with combat because for me, that's the most interesting part of this plugin. Now you'll notice a bunch of icons in the top right and these represent all of the skills that you're allowed to level up or basically all of your lowest level skills. And you'll notice when I level up my attack, the attack icon will disappear from that list. Now I'll switch my combat style to lunge to level up strength and then I'll show you in a second why that's important. Now here's the really cool part. I can only attack targets with the block option selected. If I'm in lunge or stab or slash which give attack and strength XP, the options are gone. I can't left click and I can't right click but I can still attack in the block style. This is because attack and strength are no longer my lowest level and the plugin is physically stopping me from gaining XP in them. The next skill I did was cooking and almost instinctively I started Chef's Assistant. But I realized that if I turned this quest in, I wouldn't be able to train cooking anymore for quite a long time because it gives a big boost of XP, which would mean that I wouldn't be able to make any food so I'd be leveling up combat without any food. So that's a no-go. Instead, I'll cook some of the dead cow that I've got. And then once I level up, you'll notice again that I cannot use the raw beef on the fire. I literally cannot cook this beef. It's stopping me from getting any XP. Now the plan for smithing was to sell all of my items and go to a store that sells tin and copper. This way, I don't have to worry about my mining level outscaling my smithing. But the problem is, the shop that I thought sold tin and copper doesn't actually sell it, it only lets you sell to it. So we're in a bit of a pickle with smithing, but that's fine, we'll just move on to runecrafting. Now runecrafting is one that I'm worried about because it requires mining. And really I'm going to have to spend all the mining I can on getting smithing XP. But the first few levels should be fine because what we're going to do first is complete the Rune Mysteries quest. Or at least that's what I thought until I found out that it doesn't actually give runecrafting XP. So we're in a bit of trouble with runecrafting as well. But luckily I'm the one making the plugin and I'm making the rules. So what we're going to do is allow runecrafting and smithing levels to be 50% of every other level. That means that if my runecrafting level was 10, I could get all my other base stats up to level 20 before I have to go back to runecrafting. Now fire making, I'm not worried about. There's logs everywhere, we don't really have to rely on wood cutting. It levels up super quick and we don't really need it for anything else. So even if I did level it up too early, I'm not worried because we're not going to use it for anything. Fishing, nothing to worry about here. It's always going to be easy to level up and it's always going to be useful. Wood cutting is the same story, always going to be easy, but we should stockpile the wood just in case for fire making and for fletching. And just a quick note here to notice that once I've leveled up woodcutting, I can't cut down any more trees. Now back to combat with ranged and we're gonna have to start being careful here because we really need to be careful about what units we kill. Every kill is important and has to drop something important like bones specifically. Like there is no point killing spiders because they drop nothing, it's just absolutely wasted. So I chose cows because they drop beef, bones and cow hides, all three of which are going to be useful for gaining XP in other skills. And I'm starting to get a bit worried about prayer. I'm going to take another swing at runecrafting and before I can do that I need to mine some rune essence. Now I'm hoping that I can get enough rune essence to get a level up in runecrafting afterwards, but we'll see. So something that's becoming really obvious now is that there's going to be so much walking in this challenge but I feel like this is kind of small fries compared to other challenges out there. And of course, it's not enough runecrafting XP. So we are truly screwed on runecrafting. And what's worse is we can't do any more mining <laughs> for smithing. So we're truly screwed on smithing too. So I found a nice spot to bury these dead cows, but this is a little bit frustrating because I've used every single combat skill on gaining bones and it's not even coming close to a whole prayer level 
but I'm not really too worried about prayer because I know that I can go into the wilderness and use the chaos altar and there's a bunch of bones everywhere that you can pick up. So worst case, we'll just go up there. We'll probably lose our hardcore status though, but I'm not too worried about that. I was kind of hoping I could scrape a couple more bones from the defense skill, but I, I leveled it up before I even got a single kill. Now since we're in the area, we may as well do Sheep Shearer because that will give us a bunch of crafting XP and then we won't have to worry about crafting for a fair few levels which would be really nice. Or not because apparently this quest gives the lowest amount of XP ever recorded. So it's lucky that we got cow hides because I imagine I'm going to have to use them quite soon. For now I know exactly what I need to do for prayer to get it out the way for a little while. I'll speak to this old dude, I'll speak to this old dude's mate, I'll speak to this dead guy and then that will restore my faith in God. And now we don't have to worry about going into the wilderness for a fair few levels, which would be good. So because that's the final skill that isn't runecrafting or smithing, all of the skills are unlocked again. So I'm back at mining so I can try and get some smithing XP, and here I make a fatal mistake. I'm going to put it down to this guy distracting me by just handing me a big pile of cash. The mistake I made is that I mined four copper ores, but I only have enough mining experience left to get two tin ores which means I'm just going to be left with two copper ores for no reason and it's really annoying because like I said before, every resource is so precious and this was an absolute waste. It's so upsetting watching that XP bar come so close to levelling up but not quite reaching it and knowing that it was all my fault, all because of a slight lapse of concentration. But regardless, even if I did get that smithing level, this is still highlighting the bigger issue that I don't have any mining XP left and I need more rune essence. Unfortunately this means that I'm going to have to bring down those levels even further so instead of being worth half they're going to be a third of every other level. Now this feels like a bit of a cop out or like I'm cheating but I really don't see any other way of leveling these things up. I'm just quickly going to go and round off the rest of the skills to bring them up to level. I gotta say it's kind of crazy the way that fire making works. Your guy's like lighting one single log on fire which is you know not that difficult and his brain is exploding with how much information he's getting. And then it comes to fishing and you're catching like 10 fish and you guys are like hmm I don't know I still don't really get how this works. That's more fish than I've ever caught in my actual real life. Anyway because I just did fire making I can't make fire so I'm begging people for a fire but everyone's ignoring me. But then I stumbled upon this little house that has a cooking range in it, which I didn't even know this existed, but I'm happy it's here. And now I'm shooting this cow right in front of this farm, and the farmer's just like, yeah man, carry on. That's, that's just my livestock, that's my living, that's fine. I'm just going for a walk in this field, have a good day. There's this guy just like sniping a cow <laughs> from the sheep pen, and I don't know why, but that, that's really funny to me. Okay, so I've finished all of the skills. We're at base level four, but this is the soft lock that I was speaking about because I can't get smithing and ring crafting up anymore. So I'm gonna have to go into the code and make those changes that will make ring crafting and smithing worth a third of the rest of the skills. Okay, and now that's done, you can see that all of my skills are back. I can do any skill that I want again. So I'm gonna take one final swing at getting smithing and ring crafting up. And I know that I only need one tin ore because I've overmined last time, so that should see me through to level two smithing. And that means I can save the rest of it for rune crafting. I'm just gonna keep mining until I can't anymore and get as much rune essence as possible. And hopefully that will see me through to level two. But it actually gets us to level three. I, I don't really understand why I got so much more that time, but I'm not complaining, that's great. So I think that means the final tweaks that I needed to this plugin are done and I should be able to just carry on now. I'm wondering whether down the line maybe we close that gap between ring crafting, smithing and the rest of the skills because it seems like it's only going to be a problem very early on. And you might be wondering why I've only done free to play skills. It's purely because membership's expensive and I didn't know if this plugin was going to be worth playing or not. But I gotta say I've been having a lot of fun doing this. And the code that I've written for this is essential for other plugins that I've written. In fact, this idea only came about because I was blocking access to skills for another plugin and thought, hang on a minute, this, this sounds like quite a cool challenge. So I hope you found this interesting and maybe want to play it. 
And as always on my channel, if you have any suggestions on how to improve this plugin or entirely new plugin ideas, please let me know by posting it in the comments or by joining the Discord server that is found in the description.